muted. I was muted. I was just talking to them. Good morning. Can you guys okay. hear me now? Yeah, I was just talking to the mute as button as well. Um, so I was just listening to uh, Friday's recording, which I had, which I found on YouTube. It's already moved off of WebEx, the Secretariat. I don't know if they've scripted it now or something, but uh, they're quite fast now. So I was listening to it on two times playback, and uh, it's so much fun. <laughs> Everyone sounds so uh, peppy <laughs> in that. Um, so I have some proposed text, but it's not. I haven't pushed it up yet, so I don't know where to start today. Uh, with things, um, I guess I'll start with 153. I don't see any problem with it. I wrote approve. Um, I was just glancing at it. Um, if you go to the files changed, I only started looking at it about one minute before the call right yeah go to the actual I, text. about half an hour again oh yeah you want the actual text oh, Hank. yeah so the potential wording issue that i have is just that i don't think that tls authentication establishes uh trust what it does is establishes that the identity is somebody that you think that you, that you've chosen to trust. It doesn't actually establish the trust, right? It's like um, yeah, it's similar to saying I have to trust a public key before I put it into my trust anchor store, right? And then uh, authentication just verifies that it, somebody has the private key that corresponds with the public key that I trust, but it doesn't establish the trust. In this case, you have to establish trust. the trust at the time that you're putting the key into your store, right? The, putting it in the trust store uh, records the fact that you've established the trust. It doesn't do doesn't it doesn't it, it doesn't do that and it's a quibble and then it has a leap of faith that says okay i'm assuming that it hasn't been compromised the time that the other thing happens um which attestation is much stronger and so in that sense it's a it, it's not it, so like 737 is also a possible solution the context of that sentence is establishing trust and so i don't think that wording is right well it doesn't say that we're trusting here that we at all so so, no, but the possible so solution the to, the, to, a, to a different problem. If you scroll up, uh, sorry, if you expand the up arrows, you can see a couple lines before 734. Yep. One, of One way, explicit way to establish such trust. And then it's also a possible solution. Because uh, if you can see like 730, uh, can you use to assess the trustworthiness? Uh, Uh, okay, so at the top, 718. Terms which are a line party trust a verifier. Such a trust might come by. And the TLC I, I think, the doesn't do that paragraph. So it's not a I think there's that. Kind of a, 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 I think that they're trying to get across that that um, uh, the this decision to do trust can be communicated through TLS, but I think it's just, it's, yeah, it's just too much of a shift grinding gears to, to, to say this quite this way is what you're saying. Yeah. It's not a possible solution to the same problem, at least not by itself, right? You have to have something that establishes the trust, which the authentication itself is not. And so you either need another paragraph to explain that it goes together with something else, like a leap of faith or whatever, to, to have that possible solution. It's a building block that can be used to build a possible solution, but by itself, it's not a solution to that same problem. So there are many ways that um, that this trust can, or this, this trust or this authentication can happen, right? TLS is one of them. Attestation is another. Collocation is another. I mean, but you could also set it, use symmetric keys or IPsec or anything. We're, we're all agreed that, that there are many mechanisms and that attestation is not the only one, right? No, those are solutions to different problems. It's like comparing apples and oranges. Okay, okay, so- Authentication does not give you trust. What's that? Authentication, authentication does not give you trust. Authentication gives you identity. Yeah, okay. Trust. 
All right, those are apples and oranges. Uh, trust and, and, and identity are different. Are apples and oranges. You may use identity as a piece of a solution to get trust, but identity itself is not trust. It's like um, I, 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 I can confirm that the identity is my enemy, right? But that doesn't mean that I trust my enemy. Yeah. Okay. I under, I I kind of understand the the point there. Um, the 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 point of this pull request is that. And at a state, you, 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 the 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 basis for establishing trust between the uh, relying party and the verifier is not just an attestation protocol or an attestation based thing. It could also be performed using, uh, uh, you know, out of band establishment of a trust anchor and a protocol like TLS or out of band. Yes. I, I like the way you worded it this time. That's much better. Yeah. Okay. Because you you said out of band establishment of trust and then authentication that it has the identity that I trusted. Right. That's a much better way to phrase it. Yeah. Okay. So where so, do we put this? I mean, someone else want to edit this? It sounds like you have the words, and I just don't know where to put them. I mean, that's a decent spot at seven thirty-seven or whatever. Um, I, I, I I might break it into a separate paragraph. Yeah. Yeah. You want to repeat what you said, Lawrence? I couldn't type fast enough. Uh, <laughs> That's a problem. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> that, the, 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 that the 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 relying party can come to trust the verifier by out of band establishment of key material and a protocol like TLS. Say technically, I would say those are two thirds of the solution. The last solution is the uh, uh, decision, uh, although you know it's kind of a leap of faith. But the decision that um, uh, trust at the time that you've established it is still continues to the time of authentication, right? Where attestation does the trust establishment at the time based on the evidence. Um, this mechanism assumes that there has not been a change, and so that 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 there's an, uh, there's an assumption there that there, there's no evidence of. You're just taking that as a leap of faith, and so some. Oh, sorry, that, sorry, Dave. You, you, the, the trust establishment also was, uh, has has already taken place. I think the trustworthiness description is, is then created. So that is something that is more in line. But the trust anchor is also pre-established, right? And without that, the signing material would be, I don't know. Is it the same same, same case? I didn't understand what you were saying. saying oh, okay, so I, you were saying, saying that the right. creation of evidence is, is the point where trust is somehow established, and I don't right. think that is correct. Oh, you're just commenting on what I said? Yeah. No, the... But okay, so technically the attestation does have a small leap of faith, which is... Um, that it hasn't been compromised between the time that the between the time delta uh, of the of the evidence being generated and the appraisal happening, right? Um, but the authentication one, you said the much wider time delta, which is the time that you inserted a a uh, say a public key into your trust anchor store, if that's what you're using, um, and uh, the, the the time doing the, the authentication, which could be you know months or something, so as opposed to you know seconds or milliseconds. So, I'm um, trying to think. This is trust. Sorry. Okay. So, so, I guess we have we had the thread about hey, the what, what we're somewhere calling a secondary trust was described in the trust model section. This is a but this is essentially describing those semantics in the relying party, or is this let me? No, this, this, is, this is not secondary trust. This no. is primary. Yeah. This is. This just, is to to me. This is just. Yeah. Be, be authentication trust uh, standard off the shelf stuff. It's nothing. Right. There's nothing magic about it or unique to attestation. It's just two, two ser two services that want to trust each other. So standard B two B stuff off the shelf, and typically everybody's going to do that with TLS. <clears throat> yeah. So, I'm, yes. So, so I'm confused by that because trust is built around provisioning of trust anchors. TLS is not building trust. It's building a secure channel. Right, but it's being used to communicate the the to prove possession of those trusted 
uh, can't say that right. You want to say trusted anchor. <laughs> That's not the right word, right? It, it's the anchors, which are the, uh, but you see, okay, maybe you can reword that to say. Um, but, but I think it's complaining things. It's Okay. You don't trust TLS. The reason you trust TLS is because someone provisioned trust anchors. Right. Yeah. You're not relying on TLS for provisioning trust anchors. That's no. circular logic. Right. That was my main so, point it, about why it's a tease, but it's not sufficient. Your, your second TLS sentence there, that I have is, possession of the key. Yeah, your second sentence there, Michael, is close, but uh, there's one error in it. It's not that the key yeah. material has not been compromised. It's that the verifier has not been compromised. The key material is one thing that you could get out of it, but you could also just replace the code, still keep it the same key. That, that, so, for example, the key might be at a TPM that you don't have access to, but if the verifier right. code has been changed, it's still been compromised. Yeah. So, so yeah, yeah, so if we compromise the verifier, yes, I agree. We also compromise the scenario, but... Yeah. Um, um, yeah, uh, also you have a typo with verifier is misspelled the first time. It's your red squiggly. Oh, that's why it's red squiggly. Okay, now if you combine the two sentences, it's pretty close to what I'd be happy with. Um, you, you want them in one paragraph? Yeah, because it's only two sentences and it's on the same topic. Okay. Um, and then the last wording change that I might make just to make it read better, I would replace uh, come to trust, sorry, come to, um, I would say can establish instead of come to, uh, tr establish trust in, or, or something like that. Let's try to make it be. Trust in is good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, something like that. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I think leap of faith is a bit of a. Yeah, I was trying to see if there's a better way to phrase yeah, that. The, the assumption. <laughs> there is an assumption. Yeah, there is an assumption that. I don't, I don't think the IESG will go for a leap of faith. <laughs> Let's try this out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, that's better. The community establishment of the trusted signature integration of the evidence that the verifier has not been compromised. I would say in the creation and the TLS authentication instead of the creation of the evidence. Um, actually, I'm okay with it either way. Uh, I can see the arguments. All right. Um, I think we, lost, we have lost one thing in that phrase that Lauren, yeah. uh, which is also, um, we should insert the word, um, uh, another solution or another something or other at the beginning of 724. To say that this is not an addition to the previous example, you know, as another example, maybe, what, comma, at the very beginning. Uh, so, sorry, here? Yeah, right at the beginning, maybe as another example, comma. Just to make it clear that this is separate from the previous paragraph. Yeah. Also, stop wait. Uh, uh, key material. I don't know why you use a hyphen there. I don't think we ever used that before, and I don't know what the comma between key material and end. Is. Yeah. Is I, I agree with Hanks both 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 ways. Now that we're into punctuation, we must be doing pretty good. Key material. Is it keying material? Key material. Key. This is fine. I think it's okay. No, not key keying. Material. Same thing in the first sentence, the hyphen in the first sentence to remove. Yep. Okay, how's it look now? Okay. Let's see if any wording changes are needed in the other sentence in 756, or if that one's already clear now with, with this in context. So these sentences, the next one is about secondary trust. It's about the confidentiality. Yeah. Um, just uh, just as a note for the other one, there, is, there are solutions in place that do not make the assumption. So this is just an example and that is fine, yes? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm just reading through. I think 758 is fine given the previous uh, context. And... I think now that we've explained it there, I think all the other ones are clear enough in context. So, um, although 
My preference would be to keep the ordering of the examples the same. And so where it says TLS authentication or attestation, I would swap the order just so it keeps in the same order as the first two examples. And I guess because their attestation is a little bit stronger than TLS authentication's uh, procedure, only because the time window is smaller. Um, but I think the points are still valid. You're missing the or. Yeah. Procedure or TLS authentication. Um, uh, okay, you just convinced me why the other wording is. If you think about the paragraph that we added up above, yeah, is that TLS authentication or is it TLS authentication procedure? Right? Because there's two other pieces of it. So maybe we leave it as the other one, TLS authentication or remote attestation procedure. Anyway, the one that wants to be pedantic and say it's a TLS authentication procedure, it's still there. So I would, I, 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 I remove my uh, suggestion to switch the order. Um, Yeah, I'm okay with it. As is. Okay, so I want to take us to 149, which I had homework against, and which I wrote. Or 154? Yeah, I so I just want to remind you what, what I was trying yeah. to replace. Gotcha. Okay, so it was mostly this paragraph here that mm -hmm. I was trying to get at. Um, I didn't attempt to deal with this other part at all, because... Um, I actually still can't understand the the difference, and I wouldn't change the text. I think is what I would say, um, but we can come back to that if that's still an issue. So, um, so I I did some rework on that once I realized um, that we want to describe both a local establishment of trust that involves no key material. Which is the, the, the text that the document now describes and remote attestation, which is based on key material. Um, so the, the update I did uh, Sunday. Um, there was an update to 153. Uh, 153. Oh, 149. 149. Yes, I, I did a, a update to it. Um, uh, okay, I guess I didn't see that. Yeah. I sent I sent email about it um, just to make. Well, I know you sent email about it. I just don't think I I comprehended the update. Okay. I so so I, I wanted to uh, distinguish the the remote trust establishment from the local trust establishment and be and be clear that there those the, those are both things and both need you can do one or you can do the other and then describe uh, something uh, about it. Oh. That's rebooting. Okay. I'm back. Sorry. Okay. Okay. So this is my proposed text to deal with to replace what Lawrence wrote, and and I know you haven't read it until now, so I'm you don't want to deal with it now, but I'm trying to understand. Um. So there's a duplicate in your 149 with the C security considerations. And I wasn't sure if there was a tight, if the whole thing was duplicated. Um, maybe there's some text. Maybe we both should, maybe the two pieces should be combined. I don't know. Do you want me to put the other one on the screen too? Um, 
Just a second. So as an editorial note, you started the second paragraph with this. Yeah. All which right. should be a repetition of what you mean mm -hmm. instead. Uh, as a general comment, why, why Michael is typing, uh, do we agree to uh, focus on the key material? And it says keying material, by the way. Uh, the key material uh, to be a focus and angle point here. Um, I mean, that's that's not that's not bad, but it's it's a very specific point of view. So if everybody agrees yeah, with that this, that's fine. Specific point of view is that he wanted to make it clear that mm -hmm. key material had to flow in a, as I say, a circle of trust. I give okay. you the key material, I, or I give the key material out, and I tell you how to trust it. Now, right. Once you're done with this edit, if you refresh, I have a, I, I added a comment on the suggested wording of the sentence. I don't know how to replace this. Um, because I don't actually, this is typically in the form. So I actually don't know what key I mean. Ma key material is typically in the form. Okay, the keying material, yeah. Key, not keying. Key not keying, just key. Yeah, yeah yes. all right. Yeah, to answer Hank's comment, um, refresh. Uh, I I think it is reasonable. Um, I, I don't think there's any other way to do remote establishment of trust except based on on key material. So I don't really think it's specific. I think it is the only way you can do it. We just don't we don't have any other kind of technology of doing it. Um, uh, local, you know, the, then you can do it without. Uh, key material, but if it's remote, it just has to be key material, and that really is the focus of so much of what we're trying to do here. So I think it is all quite reasonable to to, to base this on key mm. material. Same. Yeah, I'm just yeah, I'm just con uh, contesting this uh, due to a code of conduct. I actually think this is fine, but I was wondering if everybody else also really really behind this, and if if Dave is fine, if you're fine, if Mike is fine, everybody here, Ray, Ned, uh, if, if nobody's speaking up here, uh, Peter, of course. Um, behind um, what? Then, uh, this is, sorry? Behind what? Uh, the, the, the focus that, that in the end it is all about the key material, which this uh, new uh, section here really elaborates on. <clears throat> the key, the keys identify the principles. Principles say things. So when we say it's all about key material, we're saying it's all about establishing principles. Right, but the attestation is what's being said. So when we say that we're establishing trust with quotes around trust, which is an ambiguous term, we're saying that we are identifying a principle and that he's going to say things that we're going to believe. But trust is about what he says, in addition to that, that there is a principle that I'm going to believe. There's also another trust. It's you have to trust that the key it belongs to or is being used by the entity that you expect it to be used. And so, I, I, I mean, I, I've been kind of listening well, to everything that goes on here, and we're getting wrapped around the axle by trying yeah. to, to talk yeah. about a single trust. There's they, always additional trust. So sure. when you're talking about trust mechanisms, there's other trust that needs to be had in the mechanism itself. And that's where the root of trust idea comes from. If some, something has to break it, eventually you're going to push that trust all the way to something that you just have to implicitly trust. And yeah. so when we're talking about a, a TLS or something like that, what we're saying is, okay, there's a certain kind of trust that you get from using TLS, that you, uh, which is better than having not used TLS, but TLS itself is not going to be trustworthy without the idea that you can trust the endpoints that are doing it and the keys and the establishment of the keys and a whole lot of other things. And so the question is, from a attestation policy point of view, where do you break that line and say, I'm, it's good enough, I'm, I'm willing to implicitly trust? And, and so what we're arguing about here is, is not that important to me. Uh, in fact, the more we write, the more confusion we're going to bring to this. Yeah, so I sort of agree with that. Um, but, but I I, uh, I, I think it's still within the realm of this document to be able to describe that the manufacturer as a principal who's building a root of trust can make claims about the 
environment in which uh, the key was provisioned and is yeah, I, I agree which with that. is going to be used. Yeah, yeah. trust. Yeah. Yeah. He can say that. that. If we're, we're, we're going to trust that mechanism, then the source of trust to that is really an implicit trust that you have in the manufacturer and the process that he purports to yeah. use and a belief yeah. that he's really using them. Yeah. So, so the text I wrote on Sunday, I think, captures that. It's not being shown right now. Um, but I, the text I wrote on Sunday does refer to a root of trust and then says, go look at security considerations for to understand uh, how secure, you know, what the, understand how secure that root of trust is. So, like with uh, 725 and 726 was. Uh, 724, 25, 26 was the text I had to, that this describes that. It's not showing up here. There's a big gap. So that's a different uh, pull request, or uh, it's what's Michael what Michael's showing right now. Okay, I can't see everything because have... can, can I interject with a quick, somewhat unrelated question, but it's on the section I don't want it to go away. Is key pair really one word? I don't know. <laughs> no, it's two words. All right, good. That was feeling stupid. <laughs> no, uh, you're, you're not stupid. <laughs> I, I always used to, I, term, I prefer key material to key pair because key material could imply uh, a symmetric key for, with an HMAC or it could be some ECD, ECDAA. Uh, set up or something like that. That's that's why I've I've been using key material, but um I, I'm okay with yeah, key pair. That's starting at 705 is the key material is typically in the form of an asymmetric key pair. Yeah. All right. So so what what's our goal here right now? We have two alternative texts that we work on at the same time, I think. Right? Yeah, there's there's kind of Michael's version and my version. Yeah. Yeah. How do we deal with that? <laughs> Sorry, because now I'm I'm getting confused jumping between those two. Um, so I was yeah. speaking into a mute as well. Um, so sorry. So you saw I fixed the key pair um, there. Um, uh, so I think that 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 the, the two texts. So I'm trying to address some of the complaints against uh, Lawrence's text with respect to endorsements and this kind of thing. Um, but Lawrence goes a little bit further than I did, and I didn't have a chance to do all of that. Um, and so I think there's some value in his text that I haven't been able to capture yet. Um, um, so I acknowledge that, that, that there's still something to do there. Um, Dave, you said endorsements. Yeah, and I tried to sneak this endorsement in because I wanted to somehow say these sometimes come in the form of endorsements and sometimes they don't. Um, and, and I totally agree with you that, and the trans tankers provision that verifies need not be from an endorsement, but they can be from an endorsement. They don't have to be from an endorsement. So I, I, I don't know how to say that, uh, that's, uh, yeah. I mean, I mean, I, I, I just said some conveyance of key material from the tester manufacturer to the verifier and not trying to mention even whether it's a trust anchor or not a trust anchor or, or what the form is. It's just so there's some key material, I mean, that is conveyed that is used for verification. Yeah, Michael, I think just uh, the key material may also come in many other forums. It's, in other words, you're on the right track. You can probably say less and just delete a bunch. No, you have the beginning of the sentence right, the key material. Uh, so uh, so I didn't catch the so if you look transition. At seven, for, oh, are you not done? Go ahead. No, if you look at 765, we change that and just make it match that, where it says, you know, 765 says the key material is typically in. You might say the key material may instead be in the form of, and then the rest of your sentence. Um, may instead be in other forums, including. So my comment was uh, focusing on 767, where it seems to be changing <clears throat> the noun, you know, the subject of the paragraph is keying material, and then it changes to these endorsements, which seems like a non sequitur. Are we still talking about 
yes, we are. Okay. You're not you're not getting a screen share, Ned. Um, I am, but did it change? It's not going very fast, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I see it. From. Right. Next time I will use uh, I'll use Firefox again for for WebEx because I it's just getting slower and slower with Chrome. And there is a problem of sharing, unfortunately, with newer Chromes. Oh, they've done something with a big lock, in my opinion, because as it gets worse, they I think they have some list of things waiting for the big lock, and I think it's full of dead code or something. Anyway. Hmm. Um, so there's one other trivial net, but I'm staring at one of the sentences to figure out the, the one that we just edited, I think still needs a wordsmithing change, but I, I inserted the word an up in uh, 765. There's a space in front of the. Am I reading it wrong? And what's wrong with that? Oh, missing the end. I'm reading the other sentence that we edited, um, and I think the instead that I had suggested is incorrect. Because if you look at the EG, and it starts in 765. The beginning of 756 says a manufacturer signed certificate. That EG is actually part of what 767 is talking about. That is uh, one example, as opposed to just an asymmetric key pair with no certificate, you know, using raw public key, um, which, which is another way to do it that does not have an endorsement. The, the manufacturer signed IDEV ID certificate is an endorsement. Right. And so that's, it, so, uh, but it's just an EG. So I think that the 765 sentence is just fine. Um, but uh, 767 instead be in other forms is probably not the right phrase now that I see that. Um, it's just wording. You could say the, the asymmetry key pair may be included in a database of public keys, blah, blah, blah. But the, what you're saying is, is that the verifier has access to the database, that both the, the manufacturer and the verifier have access to the database is what's implied here. Uh, I'm thinking that the word key material is not the correct subject only because in 756, the key material is what's talking about inside the attester. And the 767 sentence is not about what's inside the attester. Right, databases of public keys are not inside the attester. Unless it's a symmetric key. Yeah, so what I I was what I did in my pull request is I, I said uh, signing key material and verifying yeah. key material. Yeah, that's, that's clear. Mm -hmm. So do you want me to put signing yes. at this line and verifying at this at the other line? Well, if you look at the end of your 766, you talk about with an appropriate trust anchor provider to the verifier. That's the, what Lawrence is calling the verifying key material is that trust anchor. Yeah. So, so I want to know. So I think that you're saying that the, uh, this is, I mean, the... to me, key material and trust anchor <clears throat> are okay terms if we use those consistently. Key just, material just, meaning the pre, the pre, the signing, yeah, and the trust anchor being the verifying. If we use those terms consistently, I think those are okay terms. Meaning I'm okay either way. To me, those are synonymous does, once you've kind of defined them that way in context. Does it work for symmetric keys? So signing key material and verifying key material. So the the way I'm thinking of those is is that they can work for uh, symmetric keys or they can work for some. Uh, Super complex, uh, you know, certificate hierarchy or uh, an ECDAA scheme or something like that. Uh, that's that's the way I'm, I was trying to go at it. Yeah. 
but I, I think that the uh, what Lawrence is saying is more abstract than what David was saying because I'm not convinced that trust anchor is commonly understood in in the context of symmetric key. Right. That's that's one of the reasons I'm using the word key material because I don't think right. trust anchor usually is symmetric and and um, I don't know if trust anchor even works for ECDAA or or things like that. Yeah, it does. It does. Okay. Well, I mean, they're just certificates. That's that's not DSA, DAA, right? Yeah. No. It's there's a the, the only difference is <clears throat> there's multiple private keys in this in a single public key, but it, otherwise it's the same asymmetry that's typical in asymmetric keys. Okay. Oh, you mean that there's a the fact that there's a signing and an encrypting key, Ned? Is that what you mean? There's there's multiple signing keys and one verifying key. Oh, okay. Yep, that makes sense. So, would you change an appropriate trust anchor provided to the verifier to uh, verifying key material provided to the verifier? I think making it more abstract makes it less readable here. I wonder if it makes sense to just deal with the, the signing aspects in one paragraph and the verifying in another paragraph. I think that's a good idea. As opposed to having yeah. it split between each sentence. Yeah, I agree with Ed. You're saying terminate the sentence at the comma. Yep. And then combine everything else into the second. One. Yeah. Yeah. So something like this. Um, An appropriate trust anchor is provided to the verifier. Um, then you have to combine that with the next sentence because you need to delete the instead because it's part of the same thing. Or like this, or other forms, including database. Um, that the verifier can access. Um, how about using switching the order of the first phrase instead of saying an appropriate trust anchor is provided the verifier saying the verifier is is provided with an appropriate trust anchor or uh databases or something like that i think it just makes sense construction slightly easier well, the, so there's the one point. thought that there's the one thought which is how does the verifier trust the certificate Yep. And the other thought is, how does the verifier trust the database? Yep. All true. I think, is this in the trust model section? Somebody remind me. I think it is. Yes. Yeah. So should the is be a would be or would have to be? It is trust model. And um, so, so um, I understand how a trust anchor helps to trust a certificate. How does the key material become a trust anchor here? Just a stupid question, maybe, but it's provisioned. Please. Yeah, it's the out of band trust establishment in the, the it, same conversation we had about that. He left as an occasional one, and then had that sentence here, same answer. Yeah, it's like, why do I trust my verifier owner to provision me with trust anchors? Because I was provisioned with a trust anchor from the verifier owner. Oh. Why did you put that CA into your CA list? I mean, however, you, however you made that decision. Yeah, because because the browser complained. Yeah, Google <laughs> Google provision Google put it in the browser, and that's why I trust it. That is typically it's true. It's okay, sky blue because blue is the name of the color of the sky. Yeah. yeah. Uh, actually, so so if it's all stuck, it's back to sorry. I think B two B people know. Uh, you know, IT IT people setting up B two B connections, they know what they're doing mostly. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, let's trust that. Um, so um, <laughs> yeah, so they, everything, they, sorry. <laughs> they, they know what they're doing, and that's why we have so many compromises. Okay. Yeah. yeah, sometimes. So, okay. uh, in the end, in the end. Uh, so it uh, circles back to uh, CA, I think, is a good example. And TAs, I can understand. I really know why a CA is my TA. Uh, coming back to now, no, I'm not doing certificates. I'm doing key material. It's it's so, so to speak the lightweight version without the PKI stuff. Correct. Well, how is this if, key material if, now my TA? If you don't have a CA, then but you trust a provisioning service. Mm -hmm. The provisioning service can tr can trust can provision a pairwise trust anchors, if you will. I think trust anchor is the wrong term, but it's a a, a pairwise. Public key, <clears throat> and and uh, some people use the word pinning, right? But it's 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 still checking against a list of trusted public keys. Ah, okay. So for the validation, uh, verifying purposes, okay. Well, we off we often install, uh, we often transport trust anchors in the form of self signed certificates. But actually, the only part we care about is the public key. Because the rest of it is mm -hmm. not validatable. It's just useful as metadata to tell us whether we removed the right. The right I, I think we're not breaking the definition of trust anchor from uh, 4949, but we are fringing on its interpretation. That's all I'm concerned about. Because this will be thrown back at us. I, if we do. I don't think so. I think we're exactly yeah. on the definition. Okay. Okay. If you think so, I, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. I was looking through it at 4949. I like the way they did the dollar at the beginning of every term because they're always so embedded, especially Trust Anchor. That's a real brutal one to search for because it happened, it's on every page three times with, a, with another term in front of it, right? <laughs> or something like that. You start to search with the dollar sign, then you use it. Oh, yeah. I, so I, I was doing it. I went, oh, I should really like do it with the dollar sign because I really want, you know, yeah, anyway. All so, right. Uh, I, I think this section would become clearer if you deleted line 763. I think it reads fine without that, and 763 to me just adds confusion. I don't think it says. I, I don't think it means to say anything that that the other sentences don't already say. Well, at this point, I would agree with you that uh, we haven't done that, but. Uh, it, because I, that's what I was, yeah. It reads like an introduction sentence. Yeah, and remember, this is in the attester section. Yeah. So we have to compare this with what's in the tr trust yeah. section to make sure. It almost seems like it's saying too much. Mm -hmm. this, it should be describing the role of a tester in it, like, most of this is about how to establish trust in the entity that's hosting the attester role. Well, the original purpose of the section was to have discussions about who the attester trusts and how the and anything you have to say about who the attester trusts, where the text that we're adding in green is actually about how somebody trusts the attester, the reverse direction. Yeah. So and I thought, and, that, and I thought we were going to, yeah. I thought we agreed to put all that in the trust. Was it the trust policy section or? And this is the trust uh, model section, but I, I, I guess. Oh, the, so we have subheadings there now? Yes, trust model. And then there's a subheading for each uh, party. And uh -huh. each section talks about who that particular party trusts and how and, and why or how. Okay. So what I'm wondering is if we if you can get the green text and the verifier section on the screen at the same time, because what I'm wondering is if this can just move into the verifier section or if it duplicates something in there. Um, Don't think I can without. Uh, I, okay, fair enough. Let's just look at verifier for a second. I want to see where the text is about the verifier trusting in a tester. Is there anything in there? This is all about administration. Uh, 
Yeah, I think your green text is actually part of the discussion in the verifier section because it's about because the the, the uh, it's about how the verifier trusts the attester and not the other way around. I'm not going to try to. Um, do that in the I'll after get, after get, line seven sixty five. But you get my point okay. about the 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 direction doesn't match the rest of the section. I want me to move the whole part yeah. down to. Um, sorry, there's something not. The, the first the first line makes sense here, doesn't it? Uh, mm, seven sixty-two. But it's not about the trust model of the attester. It's about something you do with the attester in order to provide, in order to allow the verifier to do its trust decisions. So it's it makes sense, but it's out of place, is what I'm saying. So do you want this at the beginning of the verifier trust? So, so can, can you look at my PR? Can you show my PR for, for that yeah, section? I yeah, I want to compare it to, to, to Lawrence's. Yes, I can bring it up on my screen. Yeah, and I think it also makes the same thing is that it talks about, ver in this case, verifiers yeah. uh, right. being trying to trust themselves to there as opposed to around. Yeah, you're, you're right. I would have the same comment on this text, which is about uh, outbound rather than inbound, right? Because you you have lots of pairs where one side has to trust the other side. And so how do you organize that into text? And right now the organization is if A needs to, needs to establish, you know, if A needs to trust B, then uh, it's in the section on A rather than the section on B. And so here the verifier needs to trust the attester using the mechanisms that we're just writing about. And so that would be in the verifier section in the way that their other text is written. Because it could go in either way. It's just for consistency, you got to pick one side or the other. So. Now, the, the one wrinkle about that is that the, you do want to have a little bit of text about the security strength of the root of trust and that I, seems, yeah. the fit, seems to fit in the attester section rather than in the verifier section. Um, it is in the, it's, in, so. it's in the red text in the verifier section right now. Yeah. That that red text is only about local trust. It's not about remote trust. Uh, uh, no, huh? I don't agree. Is when it, so, for example, red 750 to 751, a verifier might be configured to implicitly trust firmware or even software that's of the attester, the attesting environment. So that's clearly remote trust. Uh, I don't think so. The verifier is remote. Yeah, but you, a verifier can't trust firmware or software. A verifier uh, in a remote way, it can trust it in a local way, but not in a remote way. The only way the verifier can know anything about the, the firmware or, or software is that it got uh, some trust based on key material, and then it got some claims about the tr the, the firmware, the software, or either that's implicit or explicit. That's the point. Yes, that's, that's, what it's point. Point. that's the point. We're operating on claims. So the, the 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 how do we get there? So Dave, would this text you want to move? Would you have put it at the be before this red text or after? Um. Yes. Or perhaps in the middle of it could be that uh, there's enough duplication that you have to massage both of them together. All right. I, well, I, I don't know until I see it. Beginning, and then we can read it. Okay. Sure. But you're doing it in the one. Doing it in the editor. It's easier to yeah. just move it in the editor. I don't think I can. Think. No, but as far as the pull request, you're doing it in in pull request 154, right? Not 149. Yeah. Show up in 154. Okay, so now it's in the verifier section rather than in the master okay. section. Okay. Okay, so first of all, I see that this should probably go at the bottom. And it got merged into the paragraph. 
Um, all right. So I now I'm starting to form an opinion uh, on the question that you asked me. Um, I think that the green text is, is sorry that the I'm thinking that the sentence that starts in uh, 796 mm -hmm. is the intro is the introduction, right? Because all this is about uh, how the verifier trusts. Wait a second, I got to read the rest of it. Verifier trusts a manufacturer so as to be able to appraise the trustworthiness of the manufacturer's devices. Yeah, I think that's a good intro sentence. So I think it goes after. I think it's the answer to the question. You put it before, and I think I'm forming the opinion now that that's the right, that the 796 is the right after intro after sentence, and it goes after. After the whole, the whole block. Um, I think so. I'd have to read it that way, but uh, I think that's probably better than 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 before. Yeah, off, off hand, I think so. Oh, uh, sorry. I, I also split the sentences into into uh, separate okay. lines, so I'm sorry there's more than that. Do you want me to go to the rich? Uh, no. Uh, is there any actual wording change in the top block, oh. or is there just the line break? No, just line breaks. So this reads after this part. And then same thing, just a line break in 800? Yeah, that's just a line break. OK. Because I figured we were going to massage the text, so I should yeah. break it into sentences first. OK. I think so. I think that's okay. If it's, I mean, there might be minor wordsmithing, but I think in the flow, I think it's okay in that order. What do you think? You, meaning the plural, you, anybody in the call? Seems to read well because we're talking about the top. We get into the, the possibilities of hypervisors and blah, 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 but that we say ultimately there's a root of trust. Okay. And then we talk about how do we get the, 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 the keying material to trust that, that, those uh, testations. Um, I think that's good. And, and then uh, lines like 814 actually reference key material, which is now mentioned in the green text. So I, I prefer the things like hypervisor and all that, that strength to be in the security considerations. Huh. All the things about stronger and weaker security and all that. that I prefer that all to be in security considerations. Um, I think it has to do with who you trust. And so I think this is the right spot for it. Uh, I, I always prefer that security considerations list the threats that you have avoided by doing things in the text. And that that you should never you should never have to read the security considerations to learn about some aspect of the security. You should always be just reminded of what it was that you what the security was. So I would agree with the thing we said this before that the uh, if it's vouched by hardware, that is a security consideration thing that the, the stuff is layered. And we only have two layering examples here. It's a hypervisor on the firmware, I think is is, is exemplary. Uh, and the, 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 the point here is that there's this, this, this is layers. So, um, so I guess, uh, I'm fine with keeping hypervisor here, but I think we already agreed on that the uh, level of assurance sentence is not placed well here. Uh, so, uh, however, I mean, it's, it's, it seems like there's two steps here. There's one is, okay, we're going to, there is there is this thing that's a root of trust and it's going to have some key material in it. And that's the basis of the trust of attestation. So that's one thing. Then, then there's the, 
the the degree of construction of the root of trust and there's a whole range of those and a lot of technologies and just a ton of ways of doing that um and uh, so that second thing should be kind of separate uh and uh, maybe it's not in security security considerations but i would put it in, in a separate paragraph and i would put it after you talk about the, the the provisioning of key material into it or the establishment of key material in it. It's just because just there's, I mean, you, you could, you could build it in, in, you know, you could build an, an EAT implementation in pure hardware if you wanted to. That, that's, that's certainly possible. Or, or somebody might be doing attestation with, just by sticking a, uh, a key in a obfuscated Android app. I mean, it, th there's a whole range of, range here. What's, so what's wrong with the text? So, so I, I would, so I would, so it, in 793 uses hypervisor as an EG, but then in 796 it uses hypervisor <clears throat> without the EG. <clears throat> So in, in a sense, we're sort of switching from describing, you know, some ab an abstract uh, language into uh, exemplary language, which I don't sure sure I like that. It seems kind of dissonant to me. Uh, if there's some way to say what we're trying to say without switching into the exemplary language, would be better. To Ned's point, um, I think if you look at green what's now green 793 um firmware or software and so right now if you look at 796 it's lower layer hypervisor or firmware it should just be lower layer firmware or software yeah and match 793 and not say hypervisor lower layer firmware or software would match it literally you like that ned yeah does that cover the obfuscated Android app? I mean, I don't. I don't think you need to explicitly mention that. Uh, but does that cover it for for you? As um, firmware or software by a lower level firmware or software. Uh, so that... I'm not sure. Well, well, the rest of it is. Down below, it talks about root of trust. So, are we connecting the dots to the hardware that the firmware or software runs in? Is, is that is that intended to be the root of <clears throat> the root of trust, or is the root of trust intended to be an environment different from the hardware that's running the firmware or software? Or is that okay? I propose we leave this as it is for now. How do you feel about adding a meeting on Friday? Uh, I have a conflict on Fridays at seven. Okay. I don't know if I have one this week, but um, I, let me check. But sometimes I do. I had to. I had to make a hard choice last week. Oh well, thanks for joining us. Um. Oh, I'm not, I'm not sure. <laughs> Take me a minute to figure out if I. <laughs> Why don't could you let me know today, Lawrence? Sure. And, sure. Um, uh, if so, then uh, like to meet on Friday as well as Tuesday. And if not, mm -hmm. then just go to Tuesday, and I'll post it later today as you let me know. Okay. Yeah. Otherwise, I mean that's fine. Okay. All right, I'm not going to try to commit this now. And um, if someone wants to fix it or merge more text in, let's do that. Okay. Uh, that's October second, next next week or th this, this week. week. Yeah. Yeah. This week. Yeah. It looks looks like I'm canceled. Uh, my final meeting's canceled, so uh, we can go ahead. Oh, 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 I'm sorry, I misspoke. I can't do it on ten o'clock on on Friday. 
Uh, forget my suggestion. I'm sorry. I thought I thought my son's appointment was at two, but it's at ten. Sorry. I'm glad I checked. So forget that forget Friday. I can't do Friday. Um, if you want to meet without me, I can provision for. I can I'll, I can make that happen. Um, well, it's just next just next week Tuesday. Yeah. Sorry about that. No, first things first. Fine. Yeah. We're actually going to go visit the doctor in person. Oh, an adventure. It's okay. going to be an adventure, yeah. <laughs> All right. Somehow they don't have any robots that can put needles in you. I don't know why, but... Oh, there was this tattoo robot, robot that, that uh, was a remote tattoo um, artist. And they showed it with IC2 technology. Okay. So. All right. Talk to you guys next week. All right, thanks. Bye. Bye-bye. Yeah.